So the first thing we want to do to get started with FL Digi and NBEMS is to download the software. There are four softwares that you want to download. FL Digi, which is the main operating program. FL Message, which is the messaging part of the program. FL Wrap, which is the checksum version. And FL Amp, which is the file transfer program. So we want to go find these four softwares, download them, and install them on our system. To go get the software you need, you have to go to the SourceForge website and find the FL Digi section. How I get to that is I just do a Google search for FL Digi, FL D I G I. That will bring up this page, W1. HKJ, and I just click on that and go to his web page. Uh, this used to be where you went to get the software until they started posting it on SourceForge. At the top of his page, there's a link for SourceForge, so just click on that. And that takes you directly to the FL Digi website and to the specific page for FL Digi. And you'll notice on this page, all the softwares are listed, ranked by the newest, by date. So you can tell if any of these softwares are near the top that they've been modified recently. To get to the software you need, click on the folder. So again, FL Digi is the one we're going to download first. When you click on that folder, it brings you up all the available files that you can get. Um, I suggest that you get the executable file, the Windows file, and also get the help file for whatever section it is. So the FL Digi help PDF, also download that. To download a file, and this is the uh, executable for Windows, just click on the file, and then you have to watch a little bit of advertisement, uh, and it'll say it'll download in four or five seconds, and then eventually you'll get a window where you can save it. When that window comes up, just hit Save, and it'll save the file onto your computer. Go back and do this for all of the three other softwares that we're interested in downloading. Um, FL Digi, FL Message, FL Wrap, and FL Amp. After you've downloaded all the software, you should be able to go to your Downloads folder and find the executable files. To actually install each of these files, you do it the same way. Just double click on the program and let it start up. And it's going to come up with a license agreement and you just hit continue. Uh, then it's going to give you the options for installation. I go ahead and click on the Quick Launch such shortcut, so basically all of these are checked. Hit Next. And it's going to tell you where it's going to put it on your computer default to. And just let it use this default path. Basically, in mine, it's the Programs x86 FL Digi folder. And then you just click on Install. And it will install the program usually happens pretty quick. When it's done, you'll get a complete. And there's your complete, and the installation for that is done. Do that for each of the other three softwares exactly the same way. When you open each of the softwares for the first time, you're going to get a firewalls prompt. Uh, what I normally do on that is check both the public and the private and accept that. You really want FL Digi and all of the softwares to have full access through your firewall. So that's the first thing. The second thing that FL Digi will prompt you with is a wizard. And basically it's four different pages of things that you would normally fill in uh, when you first start the system. Uh, go ahead and fill those out as best you can and complete the wizard and at that point you should see this page. Uh, in our next video, the FL Digi configuration and setup, we'll cover specifically all of those pages and all of the other configurations for the whole system and let you see all of it. Uh, so that's the next video.